make history every day. Okay. Alrighty, this is Latina History. Tell you there. I'm here. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Good morning, everyone. This is another episode of Latina History Live. I'm so excited to be with everyone this morning. Um, we are going to be interviewing our Latina History October teacher. Um, and I really want to thank everyone for their patience. So we're going to get right into the interview. Um, I'm just going to ask our first question, which is, if you are there, my beautiful, wonderful, patient guest, um, can you just share with the audience your name and your title? Hi, I'm here. <laughs> my name is Jami Lex Sanchez. My title is founder. And you are founder of El Tokito 716, correct? Yes, correct. Okay, I'm so excited to interview you. So for those of you who are new to our show, uh, my name is Tyler Rodriguez. I'm a columnist, and I have a column that travels in all of, I, I'm now saying, the coolest bilingual papers in Western and Central New York. Um, and in that column this month, I actually wrote a feature on you, which I'm so, so excited about. Um, and it's a lot about your business and the energy that you're bringing to our neighborhood. Um, so I think the next question is, um, can you say a little bit about your project or your business and kind of um, what inspired your passion? Yeah. So I just want to start off by saying that you did amazing on that article. You are Thank such an you. amazing writer. <laughs> it was really great. I actually almost cried when I read it. I'm like, okay, Talia. <laughs> Um, so that was great. But my business name is El Coquito. We're El Coquito 716. Um, we are located right on Allen Street, right in the heart of Allentown. Um, so basically, El Coquito, what we're trying to do with El Coquito is bring vibrant flavors that people can indulge in the, in the culture of Dominican and Puerto Rican cuisines. So this has really never been done in the Allentown area. Um, so we're really excited uh, to be the new new kid on the block taking over. <laughs> I'm so excited I wrote that. I was very grateful um, to, to hear when you said that you were opening your business, that it was going to be on Allen because for a lot of reasons, um, that particular block that you're on actually um, is so important to me. So I'm really, really excited. Um, and you touched a little bit about what made your um, cuisine unique, and I love the idea of like the fusion of cultures and, and food. Um, and I know that you are really, really excited to be the newest restaurant, which is always so exciting. Can you say, like, because when I met you, you had shared with me that you had this vision to open the restaurant, um, and it was something that was part of like your leadership journey. Can you say kind of like who inspired you or what motivated you to want to have like a brick and mortar? Um, and specifically be in the West Side? Um, so, honestly, um, my inspiration, I know this might kind of sound cliche for us mothers, but my inspiration are my children. My children, everything I do, I do with them in mind. Um, I just want to be the best role model that I can be for them. And they they always see me working extremely hard. Um, and they love my food. My kids are my biggest <laughs> They're my biggest fans. They're, my daughter always says, Mom, this is bussin' bussin'. So when kids say that, you know that you have something to right. <laughs> So they really just inspired me to, you know, just branch out, get get myself from behind my kitchen, you know. And my partner, she's, she's great. She does all the cooking, um, well, most of the cooking over at the brick and mortar. Um, so she's really adapted the flavor. She's really mastered, like, the vision that I was going for, um, which is why it's so important to have a good partnership when actually, you know, branching out and doing these kinds of projects. Um, somebody that understands the vision, that understands um, what what we're trying to do, our mission for the community. Um, because we're not just food, you know what I'm saying? We're, we're really an inspiration. We're two women in business, two Latinas in business. Um, and like I said, it's never been done on, on, in Allentown. So it was something that we were really like super excited about, super enthused and the community has been super welcoming. Um, so 
you know, a lot of my inspiration just comes from the community, honestly, just being able to thrive and be being able to put on for us Latinas because we're very underrated. Uh, and- Ms. Sanchez, um, <laughs> this is Willie H. Uh, I was wondering, now you said it's new to Allen. What, what, is, what is new? Because there there's been a lot of restaurants, Jamaican restaurants. But what do you, what are you guys putting new in Allentown? Um, well, we're infusing the Dominican culture, okay. uh, Dominican culture and Buffalo in general. You know, there's not much of that around here. Gotcha. Um, so we're definitely trying to bring just not only the Puerto Rican culture, but the Dominican culture. Not only just Dominican culture, we're Caribbean people okay, all cool. in one. So, you know, so, um, even on Fridays, like today, we, we do Soul Food Fridays. Where wow. We make mac and cheese, ah. collard greens, oh, oh <laughs> you, you know you got my attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I like I like beans and rice. So what you're saying is you you guys doing a spectrum of soul food, Latino food, Dominican food. What's a Dominican dish that I might like? Um, so one of our like signature dishes that you might really like that is more of on our Dominican side is our mm-hmm. mangu. Okay. Um, with our and then like we we do our mofongo with like mangu style. So what we do is like you know we boil it down to mangu and then we fry it up, which is completely different from everybody. Uh, what 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 does it look like or taste like? What does it look like? Because I have no clue what mangu is. Uh, so mangu is like uh basically mangu is boiled down plantains oh, okay. so we peel them we boil them down we season them up really good we mash them up like a potato kind of thing okay and then oh, wow. we proceed to fry it and then you get like that that crunchy crispy ah. on the outside, but soft See, I might, inside i might like that more than the dumplings like jamaican they like to do the dumplings i might like that actually more than the dumplings yeah, you get, you're definitely going to have to come on down and try it out because yeah. it's, it's definitely something different and one of our signature dishes for Wonderful, sure. wonderful. Go ahead. You guys go. Oh, no, Willie, I'm so excited always, like, when you um, provide your feedback because I think our partnership is what makes our show so good. And, like, I feel like there's two types of people, like, people who wake up and don't know what they're having for dinner and everyone else, like, that's like one of my first questions to everyone. It's like 6 a.m. I'm like, okay, so what are we eating, everybody, now and in a little while? So I'm so excited to have you as a leader in our um, food like um, market because I think that in so many cases, the people who are supportive of cuisine here are also seen as leaders. Um, and you are very inspiring. You know, I, again, I had the opportunity to interview you, um, and I was just really excited. So to have an opportunity to interview you now um, with having your brand open on Allen. Um, I think it's just really humbling. Thank you for your patience. Um, you know, I'm thinking of one of the pictures that we submitted to the newspaper, and it's a photo of you outside of uh, the exterior of the building, which I think is absolutely gorgeous um, in itself with, like, a huge group of people. Um, so can you tell us a little bit about who is in that photo? Um, I know you already mentioned that they inspire you um, and how – like you said, with your whole family and stuff, like you feel uniquely supported as a Latina entrepreneur because I think you're a fantastic example for so many of us. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, so that picture is like, I'm going to blow it up and frame it super big um, <laughs> only because the most important people in my life are in that picture. Um, my mom is in that picture. My mom is a super inspiring person to me as well, um, despite her struggles and everything that she's been through in life. Um, she's rise above, and she was able to teach me how to become the person that I am today. Uh, so her being there, my mom, she actually did um, a pretty lengthy sentence in the federal pr- prison system, So, and she missed a lot of, like, the most important times of my life, like, every important time in my life she unfortunately was absent for which i don't blame her for but now that she's here i take that like so i'm so appreciative of that you know what i'm saying like it it just overwhelms me because i'm like wow my mom is here she's witnessing this like she's she's happy to be a part of it she comes in every like two weeks from out of town just to help me with it you know what i'm saying um yeah so it's, like, really meaningful to me. My brother was there, uh, his wife, then my partner and her family, which we have become family. 
during this whole thing. Um, without them, it this just wouldn't be happening. You know what I'm saying? Like we're in a well oiled machine and we all keep each other. We each play a role in keeping this thing going. So I'm super appreciative of everyone that showed up and that picture right there just represents like the intimacy of this business. You know what I'm saying? Like that's all of our family. Those are all of our supporters and we couldn't be more thankful that they really showed up for us at this time. Yeah, it was a beautiful photo, and I was humbled to share it. Um, I think that, like you like you shared, for so many families, um, specifically so many Latinas, because I was just recently looking at a report about Latinas and the way that we handle business and our finances, and it shared that like Latinos disproportionately, and I think a lot of Americans, put a lot of their family money, their generational wealth, whether that be energy, and otherwise into their family businesses. And that's why it's so important um, to support them. So to see that like multi-generational scope of your support, I was so excited. Um, and to have that picture travel across the state, I think is a huge testament to your support network. Um, and, you know, I'm just really, really proud of you. Um, the one thing that I was going to say about your, your specific um, perspective in food is, that I do um, understand that there is a culture distinctly between, like, the Puerto Rican and Dominican exchange um, and, like, this fusion of, like, music and fashion. And I think food is just an, another expression of that. And I'm so excited for you to be representing on Allen. Um, I grew up in 14201, so to see you um, probably in business has been just, like, I'm super, super excited. Um, can you let everybody know, obviously we want them to come see you at 242 Allen. Um, can you let anybody know, like, how they can support you? I know that you're on Facebook. Um, you've been running up our numbers, literally, casually. I'm not in a history. Like, you have so much community support. I think within, like, a week I shared, you had, like, almost 500 views. Um, you brought us to the page. So can you let people know, like, how they can be a part of your community, of, like, your family um, around the restaurant? Because um, I think a lot of our listeners are going to be coming to visit you, but also wanting to know how they can do that, like, immediately. Yeah. So, um, first of all, I just want to thank all of our supporters because, it's, like I said, the, the community, everything has been, like, really overwhelming. We've been having, like, really, really great reviews. Um, so, the the best way that you guys can support is just sharing any content that we share, um, sharing our menu, just giving us a like on Facebook, giving us a Google review if you've, if you've been to the establishment, um, anything of that nature. Just We're really community-based. We're going to be doing a lot of community work, um, toy drives, food drives. Um, so anything that you guys can help with, just stay posted to our social media, to our website. We're going to be updating that completely um, with all the events and everything that we're going to be trying to do for the community. Um, so that would be just another way to support. If you guys can't make it down, um, social media is just such a big thing now that even just a like or a share, you never know where that can lead us. So that would be amazing. Absolutely. Thank you for that. And the, the last question that I had um, for you, and I always allow my guests to ask me a question if they want. And then I actually wanted to read like a short excerpt of um, the column, but I think you just shared it. But like as a new business owner, when you think about like all the tools that are available to you, whether they be digital or in person, what do you feel has been most impactful for building um, your reputation, kind of that energy? Is there like a particular tool? I know Google reviews are super important, um, and I try to give good reviews. Like, you know, it's really important to give people positive feedback. But is there one specific tool or place where you feel like your analytics say like, hey, this is um, what is like most impactful? Or is that still forming? Because how long have you been in business? Like, you're super new. I'm so proud of you. Yeah, thank you. Um, we've actually just been in business short of two months. Um, we opened uh, September 1st, um, so we've literally been in business for 30 plus 50 days, about 50 days. Um, so we're literally still trying to figure that out, <laughs> what works best for us. Um, right. But right now, word of mouth, honestly, has been great. Like, our our neighbors come in and we have this one neighbor, his name is Kurt. He's he's awesome. He's, like, really into the Allentown Association, and he's been just spreading the word crazy. So 
um, you know, word of mouth is just something it, it'll get us by for now. But marketing and all of that stuff is something that we're, we're, you know, we're fresh still. So we're still working on it. Like we're still getting our signage up because um, a lot of times, like people are telling us they can't even, they didn't even know we were right here because, you know, like our okay. signage is finished or anything like that. So mm-hmm. getting, getting out there is definitely something that we're working on and marketing is something that we're still, you know, trying to play with as of now. I'm just so proud of you, and I love the atmosphere. I love where you are. Um, and just closing, um, you know, I just wanted to read a sentence that I had bolded um, on the website because I just thought it was really important. Um, and then I was just going to close and see if you had any questions um, that you wanted to post for us. Um, but I, it, it reads the following. Jami Lexan says, is although the perfect archetype of the entrepreneurial spirit that has long nourished our neighborhood for centuries. And the tenacious, internationally in tune, trend setting spirit of the young, bright creators, Westside babies, as I like to call us, who make up the new regime. And I really mean that. I really do feel like you're a shining example for all of us generationally um, as a mom. And I'm just really humbled that you allowed me to write about you and that you joined us here on the radio. Um, in closing, did you have any questions um, for us or anything that you um, wanted to end and uh, let our listeners know as we transition off? Um, well, I just wanted to let everybody know that's listening that Talia is amazing. She oh, I love so you. <laughs> Her support has been super overwhelming. I just feel the uh, she's literally a pourer. She pours into me every time she speaks to me. We uplift each other, um, and I love the work that she does for the community, the exposure that she brings to Latinas and the community, and I love how great of a mother she is. Um, I love how she goes so hard for AJ's hybrid dinosaurs. Go read his book. Go listen to his book on YouTube because that was That's amazing. So- uh, Tali is great. So uh, I don't really have too many questions, but I did want to throw that out there because without each other, you know, if we, we, we wouldn't get this far. You know, and empowerment between Latinas is so important, and you do such an amazing job so I really wanted to thank you publicly and you know we gas we we gas each other up behind closed doors all the time too (laughs) I agree with you oh thank you no I'm humbled by that and just a reminder like for me to be motivated I think I shared this with you you know coming into my third year of writing the column I have these dynamic women around me like you who really sincerely motivate me um, so I'm just really grateful for that. For everybody that's listening, um, www.libny.us, you are number one under our food section. Um, you know, we're building back the directory that we're hosting publicly, but just allowing you to um, come and have, like, this space has been really great for me. And then the last thing I want to say is, you know, thank you for opening your space to the community. I'm really excited about the potential of doing a poetry reading or, like, that kind of stuff, and you're just, like, so welcoming. So I think I would encourage everyone that's listening, you know, to follow you, to reach out to you and to go visit um, the restaurant and that at 242 Allen Street. Um, and that is another episode of Latina History Live. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. And, you know, I, I think me and many of us are in the neighborhood yeah, are humbled by your put, leadership. Put address one more time. Address put that address one more time for me. Did I say it right? Um, Debbie, do you want to say it? Yep, it's 242 Allen Street in Buffalo, New York, 14201. If you'd like to call us and place an order, you can also reach us at 716-221-4887. So you got it, guys. 242 Allen Street, you want to be there. Well, you guys are open today, right? Yep, we're open today from uh, 12 p.m. to 9 p.m. for dine-in and then from 9 p.m. to 2 a.m. for takeout at our window. All right, don't be surprised if you see this big black guy come in there. Some <laughs> moon goes some we'll be waiting for you. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right. Bye, Thank everyone. Thank so you much. so much. That's an, another episode of Latina History Live. So proud of you. Mm-hmm. Okay. Latinas. Really? Latinas make history every day. Okay. Can you read it for me? Well, how do you say this one? Latinas. Latinas make history every day. Okay. Yeah. Party line. Jump to the beat of party line. There is nobody here but you.